Welcome to our robotics channel. Join us as we dive into the exciting world of robotics. My son and me will be building cool bots, exploring their building blocks, and learn to code. To kick things off, we're launching a video series using the Spike Essentials Kit. This kit is perfect for elementary school kids who are new to robotics. In each episode, we'll create a brand new bot and also understand how it works. So let's get ready to build, learn and have fun. In this video we are going to learn how to set up Spike Essentials on your computer, learn about the building blocks of this setup such as motor and sensor, and get familiar to the programming language. The first step is to go to legoeducation.com start. Then we click on the Spike app and download the software. Once we have downloaded the software, we will find the Spike app on the desktop. We click on this icon to launch the software and navigate to Spike Essentials. This is how the home screen is going to look. I will recommend to start with the start link that has a bunch of simple tutorials to help us get accustomed to this kit. These tutorials are highly recommended before making projects using this kit. In the first tutorial we are going to learn how to program the motor. The first step is to plug the motor into port A of the hub or the controller. Once we do this, we will get the prompt to connect our computer to the hub. Press the button on the hub to turn it on and then connect to the hub. Now the hub is connected to our computer and we can use create programs on the computer and launch on the hub. The next step is to create a simple program using icon blocks, one of the way to program. Each of these blocks are functions programmed to do a certain activity. Drag the initiate block followed by adding the block to run the motor. By clicking on this drop-down menu, we can change the number of turns motor will rotate. When we run the program, the motor runs for the specified number of rotations. In the next tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the light. Plug the light into port A of the hub. After doing that, we create a simple icon block program by dragging the initiate function followed by the function to turn on the light. By clicking on this drop icon we can change the color and pattern of the light. When we run the program, the light will turn on. Mm. 
In the next tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the color sensor. This sensor detects various colors, and in this tutorial, when the color sensor detects a certain color, we are going to turn on the motor. For this tutorial, we are going to use both ports of the controller. We start with the icon block function to initiate the program. When color sensor detects a certain color, we run the motor for two rotations. Using this drop-down icon, we can change the color that is to be detected by the sensor. When we run the program and we place the color in front of the sensor, the motor runs. In the next tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the built-in gyroscope inside the hub. A gyroscope is a sensor that detects tilt in any direction, such as pitch, roll or yaw. We start with plugging the motor into port A and add the icon block function to start the program if a tilt is detected. If there is a tilt we run the motor. We can click on this drop-down icon to change which tilt angle we have to detect. We run the program and when we tilt the hub, the motor runs. The last tutorial is about a slightly advanced programming known as word blocks. In this tutorial, we will use word blocks to turn on the motor. We start by plugging the motor into port A, then start with the word blocks function to start the program. Then add another function to control the speed. And then another function to run the motor. We can notice that we have better controls here, such as motor speed. I will highly recommend to use word blocks, which will give you more freedom in controlling the sensors and motors and make advanced programs. After going through the tutorials, we go to home screen and learn how to save the programs that we will create. If we click on the new project icon, we will get two options to create the program using icon blocks or word blocks. When we click icon block and hit create, we will find multiple icon block functions to control the motor, sensor, and also add programming logic. If we choose word blocks, we will find multiple word block functions for different sensors like motors, movements, lights, and various programming logic. At this stage, if you don't know what this is, then don't worry, because we are going to learn these while making multiple projects in this video series. Once you have created the program, don't forget to click on File on the top left and hit the Save button. Your saved programs will show up here. The next thing we will explore is the Build tab, where we will find a bunch of different projects that we can make using the Spike Essentials Kit.
In these projects we can make LEGO robotic structures, add motors and sensors, and program it to create a robot. Just to explain this a little bit more, let's click on one of this project. We will find the building details step by step using LEGO bricks. We just have to follow these steps to create the structure of the robot. Programming of the robot will have to be done in the end. Hope you enjoyed this video about setting up Spike Essentials and getting accustomed to some basics. To understand this in detail we are going to make series of projects. And the next one is the cable car. If you are interested to watch that video, please click on the above link.